Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're in Oakville, Ontario. Yes, Oakville, Ontario in the Greater Toronto area outside Gladiator Burgers and Steak. Yes, so this is the new Gladiator Burger location. We have actually visited the Mississauga location before and we've done a couple challenges there. But here we're at their new Oakville location to eat what is undoubtedly Canada's biggest burger. That's right, we're talking Canada's biggest burger, guys. This is a 25 patty, 25 patty burger. I know there's chicken on it, there is bacon, there is cheese, there are so many toppings. I'm gonna get you the exact details. I do know uh, we're gonna have 45 minutes to complete this, so it's definitely gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be absolutely massive, it's a lot of food. This burger itself is over nine pounds of beef. Yes, almost 10 pounds of beef itself. So like I said, I'm gonna get you the exact details here momentarily, but uh, let's head on in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food, and uh, that's about it. So let's go eat Canada's biggest burger. All right, everyone, so here we are with Canada's biggest burger, and this thing's absolutely giant. So, again, we have what is 25 six-ounce patties. That is literally almost, almost 10 pounds of beef. Plus, we have a couple pounds of chicken tenders on here, and then have sweet potato fries. We have some underings down here, underings up here. We have some normal fries as well. Um, so this is giant. This thing barely fits in the frame. It is literally as big as my freaking torso. Uh, it is absolutely huge. And the, the bottom here is like, expanded out. This thing was like probably another six inches taller. So this is absolutely insane. So basically let's get started here momentarily. I tell you what, I'm excited this thing is going to taste so good. I had the burgers here before. Um, in regards to toppings, we have like uh, pico de gallo, we have guacamole, I have coleslaw, we have a whole bunch of beef bacon, um, we have onions, tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, we have their gladiator sauce, their garlic sauce, their chipotle mayo, the barbecue sauce. So we got everything. Everything not the kitchen sink, but everything but the kitchen sink on this burger. So like I said, let's get started here just momentarily. I do have a nice bottle of ketchup. It is a full bottle of ketchup. They anticipated me going through this. So I'm gonna set up my little ketchup pile here and I'm definitely gonna need it. I'm definitely gonna have to put this on its side too. It might, no, it's, it's probably won't stand. So I'm gonna lay it on its side here. Um, but yeah, 45 minutes. The price tag on this burger is sitting at $150. So if we can eat it though, you know what happens. We get our meal for free, so let's hope we can do that. But yeah, 150 bucks uh, if we do not. So 45 minutes, guys. Canada's biggest burger, absolutely giant. I don't know, the total weight of this is probably, I don't even know. There's a couple pounds of fries plus the chicken. This could be like 13, 14 pounds. But anyway, so let's get started. Uh, I'm just gonna lay this down. All right. Holy cow, look how big this is. This is crazy. All right, well, uh, let's say the count of five, four, Three, two, and uh, let's see. How about one? Let's get rid of this skewer and oh my gosh, look at that. that's crazy. Look at how big that was. All right, anyway, okay, enough of that. Let's eat. Nice big blob of guacamole there. Very delicious. Some beef bacon. It's some kind of little spice to it. Less tomato. Hey everyone, welcome to this video, where today we're here at Gladiator Burger taking on Canada's biggest burger challenge, yes. And in fact, this is definitely one of the biggest burgers I ever have seen or attempted. So here we have a 25 patty burger, yes, 25 patties. Then we have a variety of chicken, we have a variety of cheeses, bacon, um, we have guacamole, we have so many different sauces, vegetables, not to mention about two-ish pounds of french fries. We also had some sweet potato fries, there were some onion rings both on top and on the uh, platter itself, and then some more chicken tenders. So to make a long story short, an absolutely insane, insane amount of food. It's got some of that pico de gallo, their salsa. Very delicious as well. And like I said, guys, just a beautifully juicy, cooked, sexy burger patties. If it'll focus, oh, too good. Full spot. The 
just over two minutes ago. So the burger itself had literally like upwards of nine to 10 pounds of meat alone, like beef alone, plus the chicken, etc. So there's definitely no shortage of protein. Throw in the bacon and again, all those extra chicken tenders even off the burger. And we were really rocking and rolling. Um, so the price of the burger was $150. However, if we were able to complete it, we were gonna get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. Um, I did have my ketchup pile there being my tool, not only for preference. Yes, I do really enjoy the taste of ketchup, but I also use it as a bit of a, um, a tool to add a little bit of lubricity, a little bit of moisture to the food, kind of help it all slide down. I really like the burgers here, Gladiator Burger. Um, very, very tasty. They are juicy burgers. I love just the little bit of like, it's, I think it's just like a salt and pepper they use, but the way they season the patties as well is very, very delicious. I had never had the chicken tenders before, any other chicken before. So I was definitely looking forward to trying that. Obviously I have not tried it yet, not saying sure I was even going to get to try them, but I figured I'd start with the beef, start with the actual meat and innards of the burger before kind of moving on to the rest of the challenge. So while I would definitely not recommend anybody ever trying to eat a burger this big, cause this literally could probably feed like 12 people. Um, you know, if you want to try one of their burgers, definitely stop on by. They do have a couple locations around the GTA, the greater Toronto area. And like I said, very delicious burgers. And if you want a burger like this big or a big burger, um, definitely hit them up in advance, talk to them, see what they can do for you in that capacity. Um, when it comes to the chicken, I heard the chicken were uh, like their hand breaded chicken tenders, all breast meat, um, which sounds really cool. Um, I love their beef bacon as well. Coming on four minutes in, making your way through it. Like I said, great flavor, a beautiful beef bacon. The patties are fantastic. Oh, whoa. I'm starting to get into some of this chicken as well. So I'm really looking forward to trying them out. That's one thing I haven't tried it yet. I've never tried their chicken tenders, so. Let's change that. Mm. Oh man, I mean it's in the name, but it is very, very tender. Mm. Mm. I've got a lot. I have some of their barbecue sauce. There. For those who are wondering why I decided to eat the burger the way I was, eating kind of like all the patties and everything first, um, a little bit of strategy, a little bit just preference. Yes, I absolutely could have eaten the fries first and then went for the burger. Um, I chose to eat the patties first because if they were to get cold, I think it would be harder to eat cold patties versus like cold french fries, if that makes sense. So that's a little bit of strategy capacity. Plus, I kind of just like burgers and I love ground beef and everything so I'd rather just kind of eat that first um, and then kind of go to everything else but again there's no really right or wrong way it's all preference but like I said there is a little bit of strategy to it and then with the chicken and everything I was just going to kind of get it as it came along but definitely again the plan was to finish the burger first and then move on to all the different sides um, I didn't really uh, get to pick the sides. Um, some challenges you do, this one I didn't. Um, but I was able to get their uh, sweet potato fries in there, which I also really, really like. Um, very good sweet potato fries. I had those last time I was here. Um, so definitely that's my side of choice uh, when I come on by at Gladiator Burger. We have my ketchup pile. So it might be hard to tell, but I still have like an absolutely massive piece of this burger. This is like the compressed piece of it. But let's keep on trucking. But I believe that's all the info I have for you today. Like I said, uh, definitely was enjoying it up to this point, but there's a lot of food left and this was an absolutely giant challenge. Definitely one that I, I was not sure I was gonna be able to complete. And uh, so I can't say if I complete it or not. You have to kind of tune in. As you can even see there at the base, um, the way the burger was stacked, like it got so heavy and so girthy that it actually like imploded, like started to squeeze out the sides. 
So the burger was actually probably at least six inches, if not more taller um, before everything, just from the weight of all the, the stacked layers actually started to kind of push out the sides. And that's what you'll notice. Like if you look at the, the burger before you start eating it, how the base was so thick, that's definitely why I'm um, just kind of, you know, collapsed under the, uh, like the foundation collapsed under the weight of it. Um, but like I said at that, I'll pretty much, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Uh, let me know down below. Are you a beef burger or a chicken burger person? I think I'm going to go with beef on this one. I definitely love a good beef burger. When it's, oh, when a good burger is good, ooh, it is just, it is just good. Um, so that everyone, I'll get to the rest of the video. And uh, that, hopefully, we will see what happens. And uh, let's enjoy the video. Ooh, yeah, we are, my phone topped out. I don't know how many minutes are we in, but insane amount of food. Crazy, crazy, crazy big burger. Very, very delicious, but this thing ain't no joke. Sweet potato fries. Ooh. There you go, got some arrow. Yeah, let me go this time back on. About 10 minutes, 20 seconds in. Woo. Let's see, we're three quarters of the burger. There's still a pile of patties here. And then we got the chicken fingers and all the fries and onion rings and all that stuff. So, woo. a lot of food. Mostly done the burger. There's some burger remnants left. And then we are down to all these sides. Make it like a taco, burger taco. I think I'm still doing all right. Yeah, a lot of all food. good? A lot of food, but yeah, I'm good. Thank you, all right, appreciate perfect. it. Yeah. Oh. Get some air out of there. Crack open a tight Pepsi. Woo! A lot of food, everybody. That's a lot of beef, a lot of food. Delicious, but heavy, heavy food. Probably get some meat sweats here in a bit. But. Just over 15 minutes in. All right. Get some of these chicken chicken fingers on the go, and I'll fry. Officially down to the sides. Ooh, that's a heck of a heck of a burger. Alright. I'll re-up my ketchup. A 
But now let's get to the french fries here. It's a lot of fries. Come on, about 21 and a half minutes in. Regular fries are done. Just down to the sweet potato fries and the onion rings. Woo! No shortage of food. No shortage of food. I will say that I love the sweet potato fries. So good. Sweet, savory. The best. Nice crispy onion ring, Paul. Gotta leave no doubt. We are finished. Stop. Woo! Man. Somewhere just shy of 26 minutes. That was a beast of a challenge. That is definitely Canada's biggest burger. That thing was that that pushed me to the test. That was that was real guys. Literally all like a hundred was it 150 ounces of beef? There was I don't remember what they said, like maybe two pounds of chicken, all the, all the different tenders that we had in the layers, plus the extra. There's definitely at least two pounds of fries there. That was massive. Maybe even 14 pounds, 13, I don't know. Anyway, very delicious though. So I want to give a huge thank you to Gladiator Burger. Um, love the people here, really great staff, very friendly. This new location is freaking beautiful as well. So if you're ever in the Oakville area, stop on by. We also have the locations in Mississauga and Brampton as well. Um, so if you're at all familiar with Ontario and the Toronto area, you'll be familiar with all those names. So for that, we do get the $150 uh, meal for free, uh, which is pretty cool. But man, that is a, that is a giant. Like, that is protein and saturated fat for a long time. But that, I will say, you know what? So I love the burger. The bacon was delicious. But you know what's a really, really nice addition on that? The salsa and the guacamole. Let me know down below kind of what, like, if you have an unconventional burger topping that you really like. Because I don't consider guacamole and salsa or pico de gallo normally like a burger item, but they were great. Loved it. Uh, so yeah, so if you're ever in the area, guys, stop on by. I really appreciate uh, you checking out the video. Appreciate you watching. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, it's free. Helps the channel grow, helps me bring you some more quality content. 
And that about that, everybody, that's about it. So uh, until next time, of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, and uh, just have a lovely day. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day